Well, listen, it was great talking to you, but... Okay, bye! Oh, hey, you guys! I didn't see you there. I was just chatting with this fan here. Did you get it? I did not. <laughs> no, I did. Um, anyway, hello. It's a day, whatever it is. They're all blending together into a wonderful clump of vlog or vlog. As I wrote in my last blog or vlog entry, I'm getting tired of the word vlog or vlog, so I need to come up with an alternative because it's just uh, it's problematic. If you listen very carefully, you can hear a blue jay screaming its little bird guts out or something. It's warbling and it sounds so forlorn. I don't know what it actually means in bird world. Maybe it means like I'm happy. I don't think so though. If the sound of animals is something that's like a constant that didn't make any sense, but you know what I mean? What I'm saying is it sounds really sad to me. It sounds like it's saying, um, what's the point of it all? I'm lost. I'm lonely. Or help. My feathers are sticking up my butt. You know. It's like I almost think I should go back and start this over again because it's just weird. But I'm not going to because this is about realness and reality and the least amount of editing possible because I am a go-getter. Um, anyway, I've already eaten into this time by talking about things with feathers up there, but, but, oh, they did it again. Um, last night I saw a play. I saw Neil LeBute's Reasons to be Pretty. That is Reasons to be Pretty, all in lowercase. Strike one! <laughs> um, I'm not a big LeBute fan. I've only seen his movies. I've seen The Shape of Things, which I thought was a pretentious piece of yuck. And then I also saw Your Friends and Neighbors, which was better but also aggravating. And so when my friend sent me a text saying, any interest in seeing Neil LeBute's new play, I wrote back and said, I find LeBute to be aggravating, but maybe I could be swayed. And then he said, well, I already got the tickets, so you have to be swayed. And then he also said that he heard that this one is less misogynistic than the other ones. And I said, okay. The misogyny is not exactly the problem for me. It's that Neil LeBute's stuff is so affected and pretentious. And it's like, I'm dealing with big, weighty themes. And is instead of, like, real emotion. Like, like why not write a play about the sad blue jay? You know what I'm saying? I don't think you do, because I barely do. Um, but anyway, it, uh, it, I guess it was a little different than his other stuff, but I do have to say that, um, in the intermission, my friend went, Neil LeBute! <laughs> or, oh, Neil LeBute, or something funnier than the way I did it, and it was funny, and yeah, it was like that. The whole thing, like, hinges on this fight at the beginning between a couple, and they break up because he, she finds out that he said that her face was just regular, but he loves her so much, essentially. And, um, I went back and forth thinking, well, what if someone had said that about my face? I mean, they never would. So it was hard for me to identify, as you can imagine. But I feel like LeBute tried so hard to come up with, like, the perfect insult that where you'd be flopping, where you would feel sympathetic to both sides. And in doing so, came up with something that's kind of, um, I'm just going to say it, bullshit. So anyway, let's just jump right in now to the interview, shall we? Today, my guest is Yami, Yamalet. She's one of my really good friends from Orange County. We used to play in a band together, and she just bought a house and had a housewarming party without me. And so I'm just going to find out what's up with that. We're ringing. She played bass in the band that I used to play in the Angoras. <laughs> That's okay. Hi. Not gonna stop me now. No, nothing should stop you. Um, so do you wanna be Yami or Yamalet to the viewers? Oh, Yami. Okay, because that's who you are. Yeah, yeah. So, let me just get this straight. You had this housewarming let's party. Let's not get formal. Let's not get formal now. Okay, okay, Ms. Yami. 
<laughs> if you're nasty. <laughs> so, listen, you had this housewarming party without me, didn't you? That's not the official housewarming party. That was a total, like, throw-together, can't-get-into-the-beach party. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So it was just I a... I try. Robin and Mikkel were supposed to go early to get a pit, and they, they didn't. Wait a minute. Are you... Sh when did this happen? Oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about I'm talking about the Friday right after. Like I Oh, no. oh right. Okay. No, no, no. I'm sorry, what? That's why you need to be here. We're I know. Three parties in. This is what so you have three housewarming parties? How warm is your house? <laughs> no, this is what happened. I left on like a Tuesday and then that Friday you had a party, I think. Yeah, that was like no electricity you know, come by, got the keys, kind of drop in. Yeah, surprise. And Thanks. then you had another one? We another two? Champagne glasses, and it was, it was fun. That was fun. Even though I wasn't there, it was fun. Even, yeah, it was like, there was something missing. It was like, what? what? It's, the, it's not the furniture. We don't have furniture. <laughs> uh, <it's> something else. <laughs> That's right. We don't have right. electricity, and there's still something missing. Did you have, <laughs> did you have toilet paper? No. <laughs> well, then I wouldn't have wanted to be there anyway, I guess. No, I would have wanted to be there, though. I saw some pictures on Facebook. And so, do, now you had two more parties since? Well, we had, we've, we had a little Sunday memorial bash that it was supposed to be at the beach. Right, I, I saw those invitations. Right, right. And since that it was ridiculous at the beach, um, I said, hey, come to the house and bring everything here. I'll go grab the barbecue because we're still not moved in. Mm -hmm. And then I went and bought a little makeshift uh, pit, one of those little metal fire ring things. Wow, that's so and cool. I sat on the grass and had barbecue and had um, s'mores and stuff. Yeah. Aww. That sounds really fun. Yeah, that's, it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. Okay. okay. You're still decorating a bedroom for me in your house, right? Absolutely. <laughs> so what's the what's the OC uh, gossip or scuttlebutt that we can say on camera? Anything? Oh. Any big news? Has you guys forgotten about me? Are you kidding? No. No. Okay. I miss you every day of my life. I miss you guys every day of my life. That was really fun. These the, the last time I was in California, I was um. No. I was forlorn about leaving. <sighs> yeah. uh, um, well, it just feels so natural when you're here. Like, I know. Never left, but then, you know. Except that we're all older, and some people have kids now. Yeah, and don't go out as much as we, as we like to. But when I'm there, everyone goes out. That's what's <laughs> fun. Like, I go out more when I'm there than when I'm here. Really? Yeah, I know that you guys think I lead this, like, crazy, fascinating New York life, and I think that the viewers think that, too, so let's not disabuse anyone of that notion. Uh, well, so, like I said, this is actually super short. I just wanted to call you and give you a hard time about the parties. <laughs> but, uh, but you're definitely coming back for the big bash, right? Yeah, when is that? I don't know, but I will let you know ahead of, well ahead of time, so you can just book that flight back home. Okay. Home, I know. All right, well, listen, um, I'm going to give you a call after this so we can talk, but I'm going to um, cut this short now. I can really talk to you. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I miss you. I miss you, too. Love you. Love you, too. Talk to you later. Bye. So that was yummy. And, wow, the time flew. I want to leave you guys with a quick brain teaser, because I think brain teasers are what we should do now, and I have to talk really fast. Send in your brain teaser suggestions, though. Okay. One door to freedom, one door to a man-eating tiger. There's twins in front of the doors. One always lies, one always tells the truth. Always lies, always tells the truth. Um, you can only ask, and you don't know who's standing in front of which door, which twin is which. You can ask one question of one twin. One question of one twin. And that will, the answer will tell you which door to go out of. What question do you ask? If you already know the answer, don't blurt it out. Um, but you can send in your, your suggestions, I guess. That's how we should do it. Email them. Put them in comments. I don't know. Let's figure this out when we have more time. But um, I'll tell you the answer in tomorrow's vlog. Okay, I love you guys. Be good to each other.